Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus here, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. When I refer to basic human rights for all people, I'm talking about you. I'm saying that because you are a human being, because you are in a body on this earth, during these times, I am saying that you are entitled to those things that are about life. Those things that are about life. And my purpose is to acquaint you with that. It is my number one concern. Now you've heard a lot of people tell you that they've gotten a calling from heaven. You got preachers gotten a calling from heaven. You got prophets that's calling from heaven. And you know, I might have said at one time or another that my calling is from heaven. But I can't authenticate that in any other way than presenting what I do as if, as if it is an expression of that which I see. And to me, that's the only way it can be done. What I'm basically saying is this. They had a debate last night. I believe it was a... Republican debate. They had five guys on the stage telling American people why they wanted to be President of the United States. And I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, they had a good conversation based upon where their philosophy, where their psychology is in relationship to existence on this earth, their experience, where they can envision. And you can't knock that. It is a representation of where they are from. And it is also an expression of where you will be led to go if you allow them to lead you anywhere, just as you allow Donald Trump to lead you to this point. But the bottom line is, ladies and gentlemen, the only reason that you were led is because you don't know the path. You are following people wherever they lead you based upon their ability to scratch your ears. And what that tells me about the American people, what that tells me about the people of the earth is that they are full of shit. Now, when I say full of shit, I'm talking about the garbage that we as human beings have been fed since we have been here on this earth. What happens with shit? We have some way to dispense of that kind of stuff. We have a way of getting rid of it. And this nation has been calling on that all of its existence. We're talking about leadership. This nation, 200 plus years old, has never had proper leadership. Not from its inception, not until this very day, and not one candidate is actually speaking about that which would lead us to that kind of life. And you, the people, don't even require it. Why don't you? And why aren't they? Because everybody is full of shit. Not one of these candidates can talk about peace and prosperity and freedom. Not for the world. They can't even talk for it about Americans. They can't even talk for it about a political party. They can't even talk about that in relationship to your color or what your race you might want to separate yourself as being. That is a people that's hell bent. Hell bent. And ladies and gentlemen, you know, some of you might have uh, subscribed to my post, and I'm sure that many of you might say, to hell with us, and, you know, disassociate yourself. And you, if you disassociate yourself with this, then I don't feel bad. I feel good because I have said something to get your attention. Do you know how hungry you are? You allowed a liar, a rapist, a thief, a low down dirty human being to come up to you and tell you all kinds of lies. And you were so fed up with what was going on to you were willing to accept those lies. And you have just bonded yourself to those lies. So it doesn't even matter about the lies anymore. And what your spokesman is doing right now, going across the nation, speaking foolishness, acting like a fool, breaking all of the norms. Americans might think that he is humiliating himself, and he might be to them. But what he is doing to those that love him is spitting in your face. And all they want him to do 
is to spit in your face. Because when he spits in your face, that is them spitting in your face. And what does that represent? That represents hatred. And why does hatred exist? Because people have been taught hatred. Every last one of us have been taught exactly what we've been taught. Why do you think God allows us to continue to exist? For some people ask that question, why don't God fix this? God allows us to continue to exist because we have the power to fix this. It is not up to God to fix this. It is up for the people who have been given choice. This is one thing that makes people so fantastic, make people so wonderful in, 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 in as much as the creation is concerned, is they have choice. They can choose those things that would allow and permit them to live as if they're in heaven with peace and prosperity and freedom and joy and their dreams come in truth. Their needs, their wants, and their desires met, never having to lie, never having to cheat, never having to do any of those ugly things. And how does God, how does the power, at least if it's just my imagination and not God's sin, if it's just my imagination, how in the world can human beings live on this earth and be respectful and honorable towards one another? Hey, maybe start telling them the truth. Let them know that humankind exists only because the power that we can't see made it possible for us human beings to be used in the process of carrying forward the numbers and the continued existence of the human experience on this earth. That was made possible. And all of the resources that we might need, want, or desire to do anything that we might imagine has been already stored on this earth or in it or above it. Some of it is seen, some of it is unseen. But we have the ability to discern what moves to make. That's the power of that we cannot see. And that power knows that every last one of us requires the same things to exist. Every last one of us requires the same thing for continued existence. And because of that, each of us have been given something to do when we come on this earth. You've heard the expression, you don't work, you don't eat. If you don't work, you don't sleep. If you don't work, you don't have a place to live. If you don't work, you don't have access to education. If you don't work, you don't have access to health care. If you don't work, you don't have access to transportation or any of those things that men have determined. When I say men, I'm talking about the human race. Have determined are accessible and therefore, if you don't work, you don't have the right to experience that. But that magnificent power that we can't see, designed it so that the thing that you would do as your participation in this process is something that would give you your greatest joy. And in giving you your greatest joy, there's no problem about you doing it. You're going to do it because it's your life and you love it. And having this love, that power that we can't see, have it connected together, that those things that we have determined are essential. None of us would suffer. This is the way of life, my friends. I can tell you this. Can't no politician tell you that. Because now we don't have to go to war. We now are a shining example, a, a nation on a hill like the sun in the sky for everybody to see and everybody to wonder why. And we got the solution because it's right there, the evidence all around us. Everybody got their food, their clothing, their shelter, their education, their life, their dreams, and everybody's living. And not only that, we're sharing it all that we have with the rest of the world. So I say to you, ladies and gentlemen, how can you resist something like this and spend your time chasing after anything else? You got to be full of shit, but it's not your fault. You were raised this way. You were brought up this way. All of the haters in the world, they were taught hate. All the despicable people in the world, they were taught it. All the people that are reprehensible, they were taught it. Now, the question is, where are those people that's led by the spirit of that power that we can't see? Most of them have been identified because they were shot down by people who are full of shit. They might not have pulled the trigger, but they said it was okay because they went right on back to the normal routine. Think about that, ladies and gentlemen. I thought that'd be a nice thing to share with you this day while you are somewhere contemplating on which one of those no-count, full-of-shit people you're going to vote for.